For a long time, I've been using this little fold-up stand for my miter box saw, which has actually worked pretty well. But every time I want to use the saw and I'm cutting something long, i got to drag it out. So I think it's time for me to get a little more organized here in my garage. And I'm going to make myself a nice little rolly stand for my miter box saw. Hi, my name is Bob, and I love my two-car garage. Okay, I have three different miter box saws, so I want to make sure that the stand that I make fits any one of them. So, this right here is three and a quarter inches high, which is my tallest saw. So that's going to be how deep I set this thing down into the cabinet. I want to also make sure that nothing gets in the way on the little sides that I'm going to put on this cabinet. So I've turned this around in all different positions to make sure that no matter how I twist and turn this saw, it's going to work. Now, I already drew this on paper, but I think it's a good idea if you're confused, and sometimes I am, to lay the whole thing out full size. So I did that right here on this piece of wood. There's the top ridge of my cabinet. There's the top that the miter box saw sits on. It's going to be a space right here because I need it. There's going to be a drawer right here, and down here, there's going to be a space for a crate and storage for another saw. Way down there are going to be some wheels. So I laid the whole thing out so that I can visualize it real well, and I don't make any mistakes. Going to cut my sides out of this three-quarter inch piece of birch plywood. I'm going to make them 20 inches wide. Just a little bit of ergonomic trivia for you here. Standard height of a workbench is usually about 34 inches, but a good height for you, most comfortable height for you, is when you're standing up straight like this, wherever your wrist, the wrist is, is the perfect working height for you. Got my panels cut, I'm gonna start laying out my dados and grooves and such, and this is where my little cheater stick comes in really handy. I'm going to have a left side and a right side. So I laid these things back to back or edge to edge, back edge to back edge. I want to make sure that I got my good side up because plywood always has a good side and a bad side. Now I need to put a little groove down the back side of this right here because I'm going to put a half inch back in it. I stacked up a dado head right here. And it's going to be a blind dado, which means I need to stop. So I made a little mark on my fence right here. And uh, and I made a mark on my wood. Got myself a little blind dado. And now i got to cut some dados. There, there, and there. All right, well, yay for me. I got all my grooves and dados cut, and I didn't do anything backwards. I got a left side, and I got a right side. I still need to clean out this little corner right here where I have this sort of blind dado, and I'm going to do this the old-fashioned way. I'm just going to do it with a chisel and a mallet. I got all my pieces cut, and I'm ready to put it together. I'm going to tack it together first with my finish nailer. Then I'm going to come back and screw it together. Is it nailing it? It look a little cleaner, but I kind of like the industrial look, so I'm going for the screws. Well, a while back I made this plastic laminate top, knowing that I was going to use it for this. So I put a couple of cleats on the top here, and this guy is going to fit right down in there, like 
that. And this is why I want this little space right here. I'm gonna attach the miter box saw to the top with a carriage bolt like that and a little wing nut on the bottom so I can take it on and off quickly. Now I need to make a little flip up table here. So I'm gonna put a little piece of extra wood right here. This is gonna go here like this. I'm gonna attach it with a couple of these hinges. Now the truth be told, I make a lot of this stuff up as I go along. This side's a prototype. That side's gonna be perfect. By the way, if you don't have one of these self-centering bits, you gotta get yourself one. These are great for attaching hinges. They center themselves in the middle of the hole. I clamped a piece of plywood on here to help hold up the ledger while I screw it on. It's gonna make things a lot easier. This is what my support brace looks like. And I cut that random angle out on my bandsaw and I cut that out on the table saw. Now I need to create a little thickness here on this door so the screws from my hinges don't come out the other side. So I cut these little tabs and I'm gonna put these on the back side. I'm just gonna glue them and staple them, it's gonna look way better than having screws come out the back side of your wood. That really looks lame. This is my final solution for my extension table here. I used three quarter inch plywood here, half inch plywood here. Needed to put a block right here to give myself some space for my brace. Put some little blocks of wood here that I think kinda of look cool for to back up for the hinges and this is going to flip back like that that's going to drop down like that it's going to work great the last thing that i really need to do here is make myself a little fence for my extension table now this is what i came up with on my fence i got a three quarter inch piece of plywood right here and i nailed it to a piece of solid wood back here and this is gonna get screwed on to my extension table like that. Now this is almost done, but I found this, which I'm gonna iron on with this. And a rolly stand would not be a rolly stand without wheel. Hey, right, well here we have it, my finished rolly stand for my miter box saw. It's going to roll back perfectly in the space that I have. Fits my stuff, a crate, and my extra saw, so this is going to work out perfect for me. Now, I still need to do a drawer, but that's going to be another episode. And I need to finish it with some polyurethane because I want it to uh, hold up really well in the garage. Remember, a man skilled in his work will stand before kings. So do your very best. People will notice.